Hi there! Welcome to Kay Paquetti Facebook Live. I want to thank you for coming and I'm trying something different here. I'm trying to see if I can actually pull this up and share it on my page but I don't I don't know how to do that. I was thinking maybe I could do that. But um, just so you know, my name is Kay Paquetti, and uh, my website is kaypaquetti.com, and I've just been in the process of redoing my website, and part of that is I just added a new free gift for anyone who would like to get regular updates from me. And the new free gift is called For Baby Boomers, Seven Ways Network Marketing Can Alleviate Your Retirement Fears. My passion is to help fellow baby boomers to not have to worry about their future, not have to worry about if their money is going to last until they um, are in their 90s, being able to spend time with their grandkids, and also to have have health in such a way that they're not worried about their health either. So you're welcome to run over and grab that at kayfaketti.com. Like I said, it's a free free gift for you. But today I was just on another Facebook Live with someone by the name of Mark Harbert. And he is an expert. He is a guru, so to speak, in network, and not in network marketing, in video marketing. And he has a lot of great um, products that you can purchase, but he's on daily pretty much giving Facebook tips that are free. And today he gave his five rock solid tips for creating better videos. And they actually are pretty common sense, but not everybody actually thinks about them or, or is aware of them. The first one is to look in the camera. And I don't know about y'all, but I have a tendency to look look away or look around and not actually focus on the camera of your phone or your camera or whatever, your iP iPad, whatever you're using. So that is a very first tip. And the reason for that is so that people think and believe and know that you are actually talking right to them. One of the tips that I've always heard is when you are talking into a video camera that you need to think of someone specifically that you are actually speaking to so that your message sounds more sincere. And obviously in order for that to happen, then you need to actually look into the camera like you are looking at that person. So that's the very first step. The second tip is to a position uh, of the camera so that you are, and I guess that's as much positioning you in the camera as anything, because this is a little bit distracting if your whole face isn't in the camera. And th here you're like, well, what, what, what is she doing? And even if your head, top of your head is cut off, you don't want that. You want, you don't want anything that's going to distract the your your audience from what you're saying so to position you don't have to be close you can be further back it that doesn't matter as long as the audio is okay and that's actually the next point that he makes is to make sure that you have clear audio if you go outside I've done a lot of videos outside and the problem is there's there's like a constant background noise so if you're going to have that you really need a mic a lavalier mic something that's up close so that the people hear you and not the other people. The um, the other thing is if you are, or the background noise, I should say. There's a lot of instances where, especially with, with Facebook Live and if you, depending on your business and what niche you're in, where you'll want to be interviewing someone, maybe even live at a conference or, or, or something that you're attending. And in that case, you may even want to have two lavalier mics because the background noise can totally drown out what you want the person to hear. And then that it's, it's hard for people to listen to. It's hard for them not to be distracted. It's hard for them to get value out of it. So if this if the sound is good, I'm right now I'm inside in my, with my doors closed in my office. So there's no distracting noises to 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 happen. But if you're in an area where you can be distracted or you have to be far enough away that you can be distracted, then just get a mic. They're not they're not expensive and it'll really in, improve the the um, audio on your on your video. The next is lighting. Um, there's it's very frustrating if someone is in the dark like for instance this well i guess that's not too oh here there there you go that's not good 
So what you want is you want to have good lighting on yourself. Daylight outside is the best. And even if there's a little shadow, if, if there's daylight, then you get the clearest, the best lighting. But inside, it's very easy to do with lighting. So just make sure that you're not sitting in the dark. And uh, finally, the fifth one is stabilization. I have... It's recommended that if you're going to use a tripod that you get an actual holder for right now I'm obviously I'm videotaping this on my phone and but it's very it's suggested that you have a, an iPhone holder or whatever kind of phone you have holder for your tripod right now I don't have one of those I'm, I'm searching for one of those but what, right now my phone is just simply propped on a shelf in front of me on my desk so it, it doesn't have to be fancy you don't have to have you can video from your iPhone you don't have to have fancy equipment you just need to be aware of these things in order for it to not be distracting to your audience so you don't want to make them seasick there's times when you may be outside and you're walking and you just want to share what what you're or you want to show panoramic or whatever you want to do and that's fine but just be aware that the more stable that your phone is or your whatever you're videotaping with the better and then finally he had a bonus one which was for um to uh be cognizant of your background and you'll notice when you're doing a Facebook Live, I just want to encourage people to start doing this, to start doing it, to train people, to build your audience. Because right now, I have the list right in front of me of what he said. You don't have to remember it all. You just simply need to do it. So, like I said, the final one is to be cognizant of your background. This is my background in my room. And it's... Um, it's hopefully not distracting to you and I have a little bit of artwork over there for my grandkids and so just it's better to be against a blank wall than it is to be against a bunch of mess that that people are going to be looking and going what what is that so it's better to be non-distracting with just very plain rather than distracting so I hope that helped you. Again the five things are to look in right into the camera to position of the camera so that you that so that you're not like out of the camera um the audio make sure people can hear you and it's clear the lighting make sure people can see you and the stabilization and then the bonus was to be cognizant of the background and again um i'd love for you to visit my website kfaketty.com and grab your free resource there of seven ways that network marketing can alleviate retirement fears have a great day and thank you for attending and let's see thank you justin Thank you, Louise. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate y'all being here, and I hope you have a wonderful... Oh, Allison, great. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day.